Hello, my name is Brent Pinzotti, and I built this rammed earth house here in Lake County, California. The walls are 18 inches thick, and the house is designed to soak up the winter sun. I think rammed earth is uh, something that a lot of people would enjoy having. Low maintenance. I don't ever have to paint these walls. And just the feel of them, it's so comfortable being in an earth house like this. So. The walls are rammed earth, which is soil that is actually came from across the street. There's uh, sand mixed in with it and a small percentage of Portland cement. It's very energy efficient. If you build your house right, as far as the movement of the sun, it'll uh, stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter. In China, there's rammed earth buildings that are 3,000 years old. Let me tell you the story of my soil pile. When the house was just in the planning stages, I drove up the street here and across the street, they were notching out the hill to build a house. And there was this gigantic pile of soil there. I said, what are you gonna do with the soil? And the contractor said, it's yours if you pay to move it. So I did pay to move it. I paid $600 to move this gigantic pile of soil over here. And this pile used to be so much bigger, but it built a house in the garage. This pile used to come over here. It was this tall. We actually drove up on it to dump. And then it came over and all the way over here. And then it went all the way down to that oak tree there. Then back this way, it went to uh, right on the other side of that wheelbarrow there. So this pile was gigantic. The deer used to walk up on it and eat the leaves on the trees and things. Today I'm gonna to be working on an earth fence. Come check it out. This is an undulating fence. And the reason it's undulating is it's self-supporting. I figured out how to build a form that I could flip in for in and create this sine wave. When you do rammed earth, you have certain components. You have to have a form set up. You have to mix your soil, deliver it to your form, then compact it. And those are the, the steps of rammed earth. And you can do this on a really small scale, the old Chinese method, or you can do it with lots of modern equipment and lots of crew and do really big jobs. So you mix your soil, your sand, then your uh, cement, and you get it all nice and homogenous. Then you add moisture to it, and uh, that's a critical key component in this. You, it can't be too wet because you can't compact mud, and it has you know it can't be too dry or it won't compact. And then you basically deliver it to wherever you're building a wall. You have forms set up ahead of time. And then you, uh, you shovel it in in small amounts and you compact it down. And you're basically you're beating it down, turning it to stone. You have to know how to test your soil because all soils are different and you have to amend them with cement or sand mixtures. And uh, you have to know how, what you're doing with that before you get started.
Well, I've been a contractor uh, for quite a few years. Uh, you know, I'm a builder since I was in my early 20s. Uh, right now, I would like to teach people, anyone who'd like to learn about rammed earth, I'm, I'm available to teach, I'm available to help you design your house. I would like to re remove these forms for you to show you what we did, but I need to fill them up first. And this wall is actually gonna be six foot high here. And, uh, but basically the finished product will look about like this. And then once I'm done, I'll pour the cap on it, which protects the top of the wall from the weather. See my drip edge hangs over. This is the same mixture that I use for the floor inside the house and the window sills. Yeah, this is a, this house here is a very strong house. So, yeah, the earthiness of the coziness of being in this earth environment is is very soothing.